JHS pedals have sent me a whole bunch of new pedals from their Legends of Fuzz series. A pedal line where they re-release some amazing vintage fusses that are either super expensive, very hard to find, or both. Mostly both. Let's check them out! Everyone, welcome to Bass the World. My name is Gregor Fries and on bass we have my buddy Phil Rehm today. In the intro you have heard the Berkeley which is based on the Seamoon Fresh Fuzz. Let's hear it on its own. <laughs> I've never heard of the Simon Fuzz prior to JHS releasing this. I'm only familiar with their Funk Machine, which was reissued a few years ago and as the name suggests, sounds funky as hell. We made a video, watched it if you're interested. The Berkeley is my favorite amongst these three new pedals. It sounds gnarly and nasty as fuzz pedals of this style are supposed to, but it has the most low end amongst them, which makes it the most valuable for us bass players. There are controls for gain and bite, which are the overall output volume and the amount of fuzz. And there's a switch for the JHS mode, which adds extra treble, which we bassists definitely won't need. I dig this pedal, but there are so many more. Uh, let's move on to the plugin. <laughs> This pedal is based on the Jordan Boston, which isn't actually a pedal but a device that plugs directly into your guitar or bass. This isn't an original, this is a replica JHS made a few years ago as a limited edition and I'm just showing this to break that I have one. Single digit serial number. Just saying. Funny enough, this pedal is not at all useful for bass. There's practically no low end and I had to turn up the basses within a Q by a lot to make this sound decent. So why do I have this? It's super nasty and in a way unique and I find it very useful for doubling bass lines in the studio. I would never use it on its own, but parallel to a proper bass track, this thing is fire. Now let's hear the third new addition to the Legends of Fuzz series, the Mary Kay. <laughs> This one is based on the K fast tone, again a pedal that I've never heard about prior to this. There are controls for volume and frequency and again a JHS mod, this time to increase the fast level with more pronounced mids. Usually this video would be over now, but I want to show you another pedal. This one wasn't sent to me by JHS, but I bought it myself when it came out. It's the Crimson, their version of the so-called Civil War Big Muff. <laughs> I love and collect vintage big muffs. Uh, it's an awesome but also a little bit of an expensive hobby. You can get most of these for two to three hundred bucks, but some models are so rare that they're fetching prices of a thousand bucks and upwards. As much as I'd love to, I can't justify spending this kind of money on a panel that sounds very, very similar to this. So instead, I got this, and this is an actual crate pedal for bass. Plenty of low end, plenty of gain. This is perfect. Again, usually this video would be over now, but JHS sent me one more thing. This little box that you can use together with these fuzzes. 
the Vulture. Back in the day, all pedals were powered by batteries and batteries don't provide a constant 9 volt current. They drain over time and since fast circuits are very sensitive, their tone changes with the dying battery. This Vulture pedal goes in between your power supply and the power input of the pedal and it allows you to starve your pedal to create these interesting gating type of effects. Let's try it out. This is unofficially, I have to say, treated as the John Mayer signature pedal because he's the one who asked Josh from JHS to make this. Which gives me an idea. I'm no John Mayer, but Josh, can you please make this and this as a bass version with a blend control and possibly both in one pedal? Please. So yes, the legends of Fuzz Heroes from JHS, that was a fascinating ride. And if you want to try them out, check the links in the video description below. If you order through these links, you can support the channel without paying a cent out of your own pocket, if you decide to do that. Thank you very much. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you again in a few days here back on Base the World. Bye bye. Base the world.